I'm going to make some fudgy brownie bars. First, I'm going to show you how to make the base. The base is nothing more than a, a shortbread cookie. Uh, I'm going to show you the fudgy brownie bars, but you could top this with cheesecake topping or pecan pie topping or lemon or whatever you want. So I, right here in my food processor, I am putting two cups of flour, one half cup of light brown sugar. This is a very easy recipe. Half a teaspoon of salt. And first I am going to mix this up. And I have a 13 by 9 inch glass pan, which I'm sure most of you have. I'm not going to butter it or grease it or anything because there's going to be one and a half sticks of butter put in here and that's going to make it really buttery and it won't stick. So one and a half sticks of cubed cold butter. And now we don't want to make a paste, we just want to make it crumbly. And that's about it. My oven's at 350 degrees and we are going to bake this base for approximately 20 minutes until it's lightly browned and set. And then we're going to show you how to make the fudge topping that goes on top of it. So you just spread it out as evenly as you can. There you go. And then take a flat spatula or some other flat device, a glass, a cup, a mug, whatever, and just press it in. Just make good contact. Give it a Nice and buttery crust. 20 minutes and 350 degrees, and then I'll come back and I'll show you the filling. Here's the crust for our brownie bars out of the oven. It's very, very hot. I'm gonna put it off to the side for a moment while we make the topping that goes on it. My pan is heating, and in it I'm going to put two sticks of butter, and I'm going to melt that with eight ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. I'm using the bits. You can use regular chocolate, chop it yourself, whatever. Now we have to let this melt, and then to it, I'm going to be adding four eggs, uh, one and a half cups of sugar, a little bit of salt, and three quarters of a cup of flour. That's going to act as a, as a thickener, but we have to melt this first. Then we're going to after we make the topping, we're going to pour it onto the crust. Then it's going back in that 350 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes until you put a toothpick in the center and you get a few crumbs. Because you know like brownies, they never come out, they're not clean, they always come out a little fudgy and wet. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, so we're almost there. Just a little piece of butter. Now we're going to remove this from the heat and then we're going to start adding all of our ingredients. First thing we'll add is the sugar. I'll give that a little mix. I'm already starting to get fudgy looking. Our half a teaspoon of salt, our flour. Mix it up well. Okay. Now we're going to add in our eggs. Blend well. Here, I'm shaking the whole table. Everything's rattling. There we go. 
Now, onto our crust. Get all of that goodness out. It smells wonderful. I love the smell of chocolate. I love chocolate, period. But just that nice, fudgy smell. It smells just like a big batch of brownies. Spread it evenly. Now, back in that 350 degree oven for 35, approximately 35 minutes until a toothpick comes out with a few crumbs left on it. Here are the fudge brownie bars, very hot out of the oven. We can't cut them yet, so we're gonna put them aside and let them cool, and then they can be cut. 